Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys with this little webinar how to recolor word art. Word art, um, they're, they're kind of like stickers. You get them from different designers or you can make them yourself. And it just adds a nice little title to your page without you having to stress out and come up with something on your own. Um, these are from Jen at Word Art World. She's one of my favorites. And they are adorable as they are. But if, you know, they don't really go with the color scheme of your own page that you're working on, you know, they may be too distracting that you won't want to use them. So I'm going to show you different ways to recolor them to make them fit in better with what you have going on. So we're going to start with this top one, so I will hide the others. And for the top one, you can certainly recolor the whole thing using the cut and fill menu. You can fill it with a color, and you know, maybe it's for your little boy, so you want blue. You can do that. It's fine. It looks cute, too. Um, but if you want to recolor different pieces of it differently, you can do that also. So I like to zoom in so I can see exactly what I'm working on. And in your cut and fill menu, you have a custom cutting tool. And I use this a lot on my pages, not just for word art, but it's got a lot of different uses. So we're going to cut out a path around the word face. Maybe we'll color face in differently. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can really see because you don't want to cut off any pieces of the other words. And I'm just going to click around the word face without clicking on anything else. It's a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of time here, but it's doable. So we're going to, and you can always edit your points after you're done. So I'm going to go around like this, all the way around the word face, to the E, and then down the side. You get the idea. It takes a little bit of practice. I don't use a mouse. Those of you with who use mice, I guess, um, maybe a little bit easier. So I have it selected. I'm going to keep both sections. And all it's going to do is over here on the side, it will split it into two different layers. So now I have a layer with the top half of the sticker and a layer with just the word face on it. So now I can highlight that layer and I can fill it with a piece of paper if I'd like. Like that. Or again, you can go to the cut and fill menu and fill it with any color you would like. You could go now and cut out the word baby if you would like and fill that with another color with a you know similar fashion. Just make sure that you choose to keep both sections and not just the one that you're cutting because you'll lose the rest of your sticker. So you can see what that looks like. looks better already. And I would probably fill the baby part with maybe the screen paper. And then you, know, you would have a nice colored title to accent your page with. So let me hide those and I will show you the next one. Here's another word art from Word Art World. And this one I like a lot too, but I would love to be able to color in the inside of this word cousins. And in Storybook Creator, we don't have a paint bucket where we can just click in here and fill it in, um, but you still can do it. So I'm gonna zoom in again so I can see easily. And if you click on this, and you also have in the cut and fill menu a wand, and the wand will select everything um, within a confined area that's the same color. So if I click in here, it will select all this white, but it won't click the white out here because this white is confined by this black border. So if I click that, it will select all the white. And if I hold down shift, I can do all of the letters or just some of them if you want them to be colored differently. Again, we're going to keep both areas and it will um, separate out the word cousins so if I hide that, see it took up the white. So this is the layer with the word cousins on it. So you can go ahead and fill that with the paper, fill it with the color, anything you'd like. And you've got that. Now once you're done, I would recommend clicking on that layer and the original layer. And if you right click, you can group them. And that's important because um, if you want to move it around your page or resize it, it will resize it together. So if you watch I can resize down, I can resize up, it stays together as one sticker again. If I ungroup it, you'd have to be very careful because if you just click on this and try to resize it, the purple is not going to go along with it. So that's when you would want to group, is if you have two things that you want to be able to move and resize together. So you can see how that looks. And again, you don't have to color it all purple, you could just um, select a couple of the letters and do them blue and a couple green and a couple yellow or however you'd like. And the last one, girls. So the last one is the trickiest, and that's when you have um, 
a word art that has text outlined. Girl! And the text is not filled in. Um, so we can't use our cut and fill one because there's nothing in there for it to, to select. Um, so there's nothing in here for me to click, so I can't highlight anything. If I had a paint bucket, I could just click and fill it, but there's no paint bucket. Um, so we need to put something behind this part of the word so that we can click on it and fill it in. So to do that, we go to the Insert menu and Insert an Empty Frame. And we're going to place it over the part that we're going to want to fill in and slide it underneath it in your Layers palette. I like to give it a very bright color so that I'm not going to miss any pieces of it later. And then if you hold down Shift, you can select both of those layers and we're going to flatten it. And that's going to take it and put it together in one layer um, like a solid sticker. So now the inside of these words or these letters does have something so we can select it. So get your wand and I'm going to do every other letter and we'll just fill them differently. So if you hold down shift you can select multiple letters and we're going to keep both areas. So that's going to split apart the G, the T, and the E. You can see over here. Okay, let's pick that top layer again and the wand again and now we're going to do the E the H and the R, and we'll keep both areas again. So now I have the EHR, the GTE, and the rest of this with just the green on the outside. Obviously you don't want to keep that green on the outside, so we'll use our wand again. And you can have it select all of a certain color. So we'll have it select all of the green, and you can see it even goes in here and picks the green out for you. And we will say um, we want to keep the unselected area and it'll cut out the green. So now all we're left with is this green, but that's because those are on their own layers. So we'll take the E, H, and R and maybe fill it with this blue and the G, T, and E and fill it with the pink or, you know, however you want to do it. And you've got a word art that maybe will go better with your page. If you don't like the black, you can recolor that, but that's going to recolor the outline of your words also. So pick a color that will um, help you do that. So maybe we'll do like a green. There you go. And if you don't like it, just hit cancel and keep it black. So now your job this week is to go through um, your word art. And there are some new um, free swaps from Word Art World this week. But go ahead and pick any word art that you want. Um, find a way to recolor it, whether you use this method, this method, or this method, and get it on a layout and get it posted for me. I can't wait to see them.